Can you solve this equation within the next three seconds? Write down below in the comments which answer did you got, 12 or 3 fourth. The debate online is, is should we use PEMDAS, the order of operation and tackled parentheses thirds first, then division and multiplication, or should we use the uh, implicit multiplication? So let's calculate both and then decide which approach is correct. So first we will calculate, as some people are doing online, the implicit uh, multiplication. So in this case, what we have is 6 divided by 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 minus 2. So we get 6. So 10 minus 2 is 8. So we can write 6 over 8. We simplify by 2 and we have 3 fourth. If you like the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So for this approach, we're going to use PEMDAS, which P stands for parentheses, and it needs to be done in the first place. E stands for exponents, needs to be done in the second place. Multiplication and division have equal priority, and they need to be, to be done from left to right. And addition and subtra subtraction is in the fourth place. In our situation, we have 6 divided by 2, 5 minus 1. So we tackle first the parentheses. So we get 6 divided by 2, multiply, because here is the multiplication, by 4. And what we get is 6 divided by 2 is 3, multiply by 4, and equal 12. So we have two different answers. Question is, which approach is correct? To solve this, or to answer this question, let's do reverse engineering. So let's first do the reverse engineering for implicit multiplication approach. Let's assume that we have 6 divided by 10 minus 2. Yeah, so let's assume that this is the original equation. In this case, what we do, we see that we have a common factor, which is 2, then we put it here, but because we have an entire term, new term, so this was in the brackets, means that we need to use additional brackets. So in this case, we have 2 next to 5 minus 1. So this would be the case to do the implicit multiplication because let's assume that this is the original one. Then, okay, we can take this as a common factor too. So of course we cannot take out the common factor and not use the brackets when we have a division ahead. So in this case, yes, we write it as per implicit multiplication. So we, then of course we multiply. So we have 10 minus two, six by eight and is 3, 4. So that would be the correct case to do the implicit multiplication. Now let's check for PEMDAS. Let's do reverse engineering for PEMDAS. So let's assume that the original equation was, so this was the original equation, correct? How can I write it? Yeah, I can write 6 divided by 2 and 4 because I want to, I want to put it in two terms, in two numbers. I open the brackets, but here still we keep the multiplication and I can write it as 5 minus 1 or I can write it as 2 plus 2, doesn't matter. The idea is that I use this number to, uh, to write it as a subtraction from both numbers. So what we have, we have this equals to this. So to calculate, then of course we use PEMD as the order of operation. So we have 5 minus 1, it's 4, 2 multiplied by 4. So we have 2 multiplied by 4. And of course, now we need to do it from left to right. 6 divided by 2 is 3 multiplied by 4, and it's 12. So in this way, guys, we have proved that when we have equation like this, the principle that should be applied is PEMDAS, because here it's multiplication. If we would have had a double parenthesis, then this would have been the correct approach for implicit multiplication. Therefore, the correct answer is 
well thank you very much please hit the like button and subscribe and comment what do you think about this uh, approach ciao ciao